Hi everybody, my name is Maurice Steinert and I'm going to present the paper Planning Domain Generation for Natural Language Step-by-Step -step Instructions. This paper was written by me and Felipe Mineguzzi. We are both from Pontifical Catholic University of Rio Grande do Sul, Porto Alegre, Brazil. I will start with a brief introduction, where in this work we propose a method for converting natural language or text into a symbolic representation, specifically PDDL, to be used by off-the-shelf planners. Our motivation here is to overcome the knowledge acquisition bottleneck of translating text into symbolic representation that's time-consuming and usually requires that users learn a formal language. So we propose automating this task using a rule-based method. To start developing our solution, first we generate a dataset to operate over. Uh, we use Wikihow as a data source and we collected a set of cooking recipes. In, in total, we have uh, 5,518 instances or, or recipes. Uh, some points to observe in terms of how we write instructions. They are usually written in imperative form. And in the case of Wikihow, usually the first sentence of each step summarizes what's going on in that in that step. Talking about our rule-based method, it requires as input uh, a set of rules for actions, where actions are usually identified by verbs within sentences, and a set of rules for objects, usually represented by nouns. For each action, we have a set of keywords that may trigger that action. And for each object, we have an uh, object type assigned to it. Talking about our algorithm, uh, we start by breaking uh, our instance into sentences or steps. And for each sentence, we identify actions and objects within it. Uh, next, we solve, we try to solve actions, parameters, and preconditions. Uh, what, I, what I mean about that? Uh, first, it's important to emphasize that we work in the context of the, the current sentence, right? We try to retrieve information considering just the, the current sentence. If I find an action, I need to find those parameters uh, in the same sentence. I don't memorize or I don't record uh, information from previous sentences or steps, right? This to solve parameters. Uh, about preconditions, uh, given that we are performing step-by-step -step instructions, we, we assign as precondition to a current action all previous actions effects. And, uh, why that? Uh, because we need to maintain, to respect a, an order of execution of this task. After all that, we finally generate our domain and problem definition or symbolic representation. Another aspect is that we can run this implementation in non-interactive mode and interactive mode. Uh, in non-interactive mode, it runs totally automated. Uh, in interactive mode, it may inquire users about missing parameters, to, to fill in the blanks and to generate more accurate plans. Talking about our experiments and results, first I will talk about our environment setup. Uh, given that we are operating over uh, cooking recipes domain, uh, we start by performing a statistical analysis over our data set, specifically in terms of terms frequency of verbs and nouns. We have here a top 10 verbs and nouns based on frequency. And we, we use that information to generate our rules. Uh, in total for this experiment, we generate a total of 12 action rules. Here we have its syntax where we assign a name for that, a set of keywords that may trigger that action, uh, respective effects, uh, input parameters and its preconditions. And we have a total of 153 object rules, 
it's a similar syntax we have a name but this time we have a type an object type assigned to it given our domain we separated our types into ingredients and recipients so we start by performing a quantitative analysis uh, running over all instances in our data set where we are capable of providing a valid plan for 50% of instances running in non-interactive mode. What do I mean by a valid plan? And returning a plan, I'm not concerned here about uh, plan's quality or accuracy. It, may, it was capable of solving the problem of returning a plan, a valid plan. Now performing a qualitative analysis, in here we observe uh, we have a data set instance on the left we have our our sentences and we have uh, the corresponding actions in the right we have our generated plan and we have the associated by those arrows here uh, which action was triggered by which sentence we observe that it respect our order but we also observe here that there's a lot of sentences that are not performed by because it was not identified as an action or if it was identified as an action uh, the corresponding sentence does not provide all required parameters uh, we also have another situation where we have um, in the case of the last step uh, a simple uh, final sentence finished that does not mean nothing there's no action to to perform in, in this case next we have our symbolic representation in pddl format we have our domain definition we have our problem definition here uh, some points that i i want to emphasize here to observe that as our example earlier we have for cut, as the peel action comes earlier, we have as a precondition for cut uh, the peel lead to, to the object that's parameter, that's an ingredient here. It the same applies to the, the following actions. And in the problem definition, as a goal, we have um, all, all of our actions effects that was solved. Finally, to conclude, in this work we presented a rule-based method to convert text or natural language into symbolic representation. Uh, this solution is domain-dependent. You may adapt it to your domain problem based on statistical analysis as we do or using another, uh, another technique. And in the future, we want to improve your dataset preprocessing it is important to to have a better interpretation of our sentences to, to extract information in order to to retrieve more actions and to solve more actions to result in more accurate plans we also want to automate some some tasks like action identification using named entity recognition systems the system actually is based on rules, it's static. Uh, we want to use, in this case, for automation, synonymous dictionaries or word embeddings to compare words. And I believe that the most challenging aspect to solve here is identify action preconditions, being specific about that, because in here we use the previous action effects as precondition to a current action and that may represent a problem we cannot explore heuristics or generating optimal plans to solve problems so uh, thank you very much for your attention and i am available for questions and comments thank you again